guys what is up welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is cam if you haven't already make sure you subscribe down below because iphone 13 is about to come out maybe i'll get it maybe i won't who knows i just have so much fun apple product videos coming soon anyway this is ever since i mentioned this in one of my vlogs you guys have been going crazy over it and i'm so happy about it because i am so beyond excited to share with you guys what i'm gonna share with you guys obviously by the title you guys are about to watch my iphone 12 pro max fall customization slash what's on my iphone i haven't really decided what i'm gonna call it yet but it has something to do with that so i have on my copper brown i just got my nails done i'd be lying if i said I didn't get them done for this video. Got my ice dirty chai with pumpkin cold foam. Screenshot it. It's literally the best drink ever. So we are ready for the fall on this channel, okay? This is my phone. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It is my favorite in white. I'm obsessed with it, as you guys know. And you guys are probably like, Cam, that case. Yep, that case. Thank you, Case to Buy, so much for partnering with me on this video. As you guys know, I love Caseify. I have so many of their cases and they were kind enough to send over some cases for this video. So it came in this gorgeous Caseify box. So we are just gonna open it and I'm gonna show you guys all the cases that I got because they're so cute. So first up, we just got this guy right here. I thought it was perfect for the fall, obviously because of the brown, chromey, reflective mirror. It just says focus on the good and I think it's adorable and I feel like it's just perfect for the fall and I'm just obsessed with it. And I know that I can rely on Casetify because I've been dropping my phone so much, you know, I'm really clumsy. I feel like this case was like a must have for the fall. It's just this really cute plaid cream colored case. I feel Feel like the fall is all about the plaids and like all about the flannels so I just thought this was literally perfect for the fall and then this one is my favorite because it's so nice next up we have this cute new addition to case to it's just this gorgeous leathery brown chocolatey brown case it has this cute little spot right here so that you can hold your phone because if you're like me and drop your phone a lot like this can prevent so many like late night like on your bed your phone drops to your face moments and i got these adorable gold charms that just say cam with a cute little heart i'm just obsessed and then obviously this one's my favorite it's just these adorable cute little skeletons doing yoga with an orange little background so case device cases are slim and protective and they are much more protective than cheaper amazon alternatives they have the ultra impact and impact cases and they're engineered with two layer construction on chi tech material so they're dropped tested so they're drop test approved for up to 6.6 .6 feet you're able to design and customize literally every single case that you choose from on caseify there are so many designs to choose from and you can choose your favorite color and print for your case to match with your phone and obviously your style and then obviously caseify is super user friendly and it's great for the environment they use recycled plastic especially within their ultra impact and impact phone cases and then also which is great is that these cases have antimicrobial coating so that it eliminates up to 99% of bacteria and what's cool is that their impact cases which I believe is this one right here that's actually on my phone these are drop tested up to 6.6 .6 feet and then their ultra impact cases are drop tested up to 9.8 feet that's pretty sick it's a military grade cases right there I've obviously been using case of five for super super long they're pretty much the only phone case that I trust with my phone obviously phones are not cheap so obviously investing in cases from case of five are super super important so case of five has geared me to drop my phone which y'all know I do every single day I am five four so I'm just gonna stand right here hopefully y'all can see me that sounded really harsh so we are just gonna check her and she's safe. All right, guys. So thanks again, Casetify, so much for partnering with me. They were kind enough to give me a cute little discount for you guys. Check the link in the description. And you guys will be able to see my top picks, including these ones that I already showed you guys today. And just literally, what are you doing if you don't have a Casetify case? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They have so many cute freaking cases, and they're known for their amazing designs. So anyway, let's get on into this what's on my iPhone slash fall customization, or what I did to customize my phone for the fall. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm just gonna move over. We have all the fall things ready for us. I have a pumpkin candle going off in the background. Got my fall attire on. So I'm gonna start screen recording right now. Okay. So as you guys can see, my wallpaper is just this adorable Pinterest wallpaper that just says, hey there, pumpkin, super cute. And then once we open up my phone, you guys can see I have some widgets. I learned how to do this from Julia K. Chris' video, which I'll have linked down below. I wouldn't have known how to do this without her video, obviously. So I just have this super cute little Pinterest background. You guys can literally just look up fall aesthetic wallpapers or autumn aesthetic, and it'll come up with all of these pretty much. And then I obviously just have the date on it, and I just think it's so, 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 so cute. If you guys can see, I just have a little pumpkin with like the same aesthetic as my lock screen. That's the background and I think it's adorable. And then I just have this cute little cup of, I think it's coffee or hot cocoa at the bottom right corner. And I just think it's so cute. So anyway, let's just go over what I have on my iPhone. <laughs> so first up, we just have photos. I just obviously keep all my photos right there. And because I am constantly taking pictures, I think it's very important for me to have photos and camera right up front. So you guys are going to be able to see what I can see. Hey, so I love this phone because you can do super zoomed in or you can do super zoomed out. So love that. Next up, I just have my clock app because as you guys can see, I have a lot of different times that I wake up at, you know, I just always have those ready. Next up, I just have my email and notes. I have my notes app, which is super helpful for like jotting down anything really quick. I then have my Gmail app, which has all my business accounts, all of my personal accounts, all that fun stuff. And then obviously I just have my Notion, which is super helpful. I literally plan everything in Notion. This is my cute little homepage. Love this so much. Much. I am very proud of my notion. <laughs> I love it a lot. Next up, I just have my finance folder. I'm not really going to go into that just because that's personal stuff. But next up, I have navigation. I have meter up and park Boston. I'm kind of skipping over the maps app, but you know, maps is pretty self explanatory. But meter up and park Boston are for when I lived in Boston, which is crazy because I actually don't even own an apartment there anymore because my lease is up. It was up as of August 31st, so or September 1st, I should say. But yeah, so I have that for when I park my car. I have a parking pass, still do actually. And um, I would just use these apps to pay the little meters. Then I just have Uber, which I don't really use anymore. This is kind of from like college, but whatever. I keep them on there. Then I just have Life360. Um, me and my family have this just so we can keep track of each other. Not like in a weird way, but just like if one of us aren't answering and like we're worried about each other, we are able to check it. I used to be really against Life360, but honestly, it's kind of fun. Next up, I just have the Only in Boston app and I like it for like train stuff. Sometimes they have really cool promotions. I follow them on Twitter. So I really like that. Um, and sometimes they have, I don't know, like cute little deals for like the restaurant. So I have that. And then I recently just downloaded Google Map for walking because I've heard on Gals on the Go and like other podcasts that Google Maps is great for like actually like walking places instead of driving places. So I downloaded it to try, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So if y'all know how to do it, like please let me know. Next up, I just have my YouTube folder. This is important for me to have because obviously I do YouTube almost full time. I'd say part time, but it's been full time as a free recently. So I just have my YouTube studio app, which tells me um, my revenue, my analytics, if I'm uploading a video on the go. This is a great app to have if you're a YouTuber or a vlogger or like casual YouTuber that just likes uploading for fun. This is great because if you're on the go constantly, this is a great app to use to like respond to comments or your analytics, set a scheduled date for your video to go up. Like it's just extremely great. I love it. Next up, I just have my YouTube app, which is just great for when I'm just like doing my makeup or my skincare and I just wanna watch a video on my phone. Okay, next up, I just have my everything and more folder, which holds my Lululemon app. As you guys know, I am literally obsessed with my Lululemon. So I have this as an app and I already have some things I wanna buy and it says Hi Pola, that's my mom's name and I use her account. <laughs> so that's that. And then I just have my Cycle Bar app. I obviously use this every single day. As you guys can see, I have a spin class later tonight. Hilary Duff versus Avril Lavigne. Super, super excited for that ride. I took one earlier as well because why not? And I'm getting super close to my 100th ride, so that's really exciting. Next up, I just have my Pinterest app. This is amazing. This is where I get all of my wallpapers. See, as you guys can see, there are just like cute autumn aesthetics, cute little wallpapers, and I'm just obsessed with it. I have like outfit ideas, nail ideas. Oh, that's so cute. 
I'm gonna save that. I love Pinterest so much. It's definitely like my favorite app. I almost prefer it over Instagram, I'm being completely honest, which is crazy, but I love that. Next up, I just have Poshmark. I don't really use it anymore. I use Curtsy now, as you guys can see at the bottom right. Next up, I have Be Good. This is just like a food ordering app. I really like their smoothies, so I keep it. Next up, I just have The Handlebar, which is another spin studio I used to do when I lived in Boston. So The Handlebar is great for anyone that's going to college in the city or is visiting Boston and wants to take a spin class, the handlebar is definitely my favorite. Jared and Jess Frack and Carolyn are my favorite instructors there. Next up, I just have my Starbucks app. Y'all know the drill. I love me some Starbucks, so obviously I have some Starbucks. <laughs> Next up, I just have my Amazon, and I wanted to see if she like was able to like understand, but she didn't. So um, this is when I had my in Boston, but she's been unplugged, and um, she's in storage right now. Next up, I just have my Curtsy. This is where I sell. It's just great, and I love it. So if you guys want to buy from me, definitely do so. I still have some clothes up for sale, so definitely go check that out. Next up, I just have my Amazon app. I love this app. I probably am going to purchase something really soon. This is where I get like my pimple patches. I've been looking at this recently. So yeah, love that. And then I just have my Soul Cycle app. I guess it logged me out, but um, I really do like Soul Cycle sometimes, but I obviously prefer Cycle Bar. Next up, I just have Urban Outfitters. I used to love Urban Outfitters, but you guys, if you guys have seen my recent vlog, you guys know that like, I don't know, the style recently has just like not been it. So I just like haven't been purchasing anything off of anything because I've just been wearing Lululemon. <laughs> so that's that. Next up I have Sephora. You guys know I love Sephora. It's like my favorite. I need to order a new Olaplex shampoo and conditioner soon. So I definitely need to do that. Next up I just have Uber Eats. Clearly haven't used that in a while. And I have Sweet Green. This is great because I love their salads. Definitely wonderful when I lived in Boston. Next up I just have my Nespresso app. This is great for when I need to order some coffee. I do own the Nespresso Virtuo in the Larissa, I believe it is. So I really, really love Double Espresso Chiaro. It's definitely my favorite. I wanted to see if they had any like full, but I don't really use um, anything anymore. I just use flavoring like syrup. So I have the Nespresso, I have Chipotle, Panera Bread, Steve Madden to get some discount. And I used to grow up hub once and I actually really liked it. I actually prefer it over Uber Eats. So that's my everything and more folder. It definitely just has like everything that I use for like shopping and like um, cycling and all that fun stuff. Next up, I have my music folder super fun and exciting. I finally have Spotify Premium. I got it this past like month. I love, love Spotify Premium. I actually really like it. I have a few playlists. Um, I like listening. For Cycle Bar, they have this option on the app where you can like listen to that Spin Classes playlist and it's really fun. So I sometimes listen to those um, when I'm like working out and I made like a Post Malone playlist. I've been listening to Manifest by Tori D. Simone, Country, Gals on the Go, Not Country, The Days, Summer 2021, um, I love Call Her Daddy, and I just really, really like it. I'm still waiting for Spotify to kind of figure me out in a way like that TikTok does, so still waiting for that. And then next, I just have Spotify. This has the best, like, remixes ever for, like, when you need, like, playlists to play at, like, a party or, like, pregame, you know, it, they just have the best playlist. And then I haven't really been using my Apple Music, but I have a bunch of playlists on here. I really, really love Apple Music. However, I've been preferring Spotify. Next up, I have the podcast app, but I don't really use that anymore since I started using Spotify. Next up, we have my social media folder. We have my Instagram. I was just about to post and I just love, I just love Instagram. So you guys should definitely go follow me. Yeah, I, I've been trying to post a lot more, but Obviously, I haven't been doing well. I don't really use Twitter all that much. Next up, I just have TikTok. I have been making, but I have been trying to be active on TikTok. So you guys should definitely go watch that or follow me. It's Cami Jewel 101. <laughs> Next up, I just have Facebook. I really just use that to like keep in contact with the family. That's it. And then I just have Snapchat which I don't really use anymore. So next up, I just have my photo and video 
Tessa is the app I use to edit all of my pictures recently. My favorite one right now is Creamy and I just lower it to 50 or 35. Then I add some um, saturation and that is pretty much how I edit on Tessa. That's like my favorite app. It just has a bunch of different presets that are like cool and trendy. I used to use Vintage but I don't really use it anymore. That's a little too contrasty for me but you know that's that. Next up I just have a studio. This is where I make all my thumbnails. I just do transparent and go to the thumbnail little thing and then I can just make a little collage by myself. Next up I just have Facetune. I really only use it to like smooth something out on my face or like anywhere. I don't use it for like body morphing ever really. So yeah I really just use Facetune to smooth out anything or like to whiten a background of anything. So I just keep that for that. And then next up I just have Visco. You guys can follow me if you want. I don't really post a lot. I kind of just do like bulk uploads on there but um yeah I don't really use it anymore but um I definitely really like it I think it's fun to use so you guys can follow me on there if you want. Next up, I just have Unfold. This is how I make all of my cool little promotional Instagram stories. This is just like what I use and that's how I do them. So convenient and if you want like animated stories, it's great to have. Next up, I don't know why I have this app. It's just un um and it's how you plan out your Instagram feed, but I don't really use it. I kind of just have it as a just in case. Next up, I just have Camera Connect. This is how I connect my Canon to my phone. This is wonderful for like when you're trying to edit and you don't have your little USB. It's really great to have to kind of just like Bluetooth it over to your phone. So super helpful. Highly recommend that app if you have a Canon. Next up, I just have Calculator and Settings because these are the most like Apple generated apps that I use. And then swiping over to the next page I have this happy fall widget which I'm in love with I think it's so cute so the first folder I have is EC alum it used to just be EC because that's my college and these are all the apps that I would use for school so I just have my school email my printer this like authorization app to get into my email because I guess someone hacked it Socratic which is a which is a cheating app and then zoom and then I just have books. next up we have health so obviously I have an Apple watch I'm genuinely obsessed with it. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, this is just like how I can customize my faces and I've just been using the infograph modular. And then I just have this fitness app where I can track all of my workouts and want to know what's crazy you guys. If I ever like lose in my Apple watch or if it ever breaks like it's so much of a necessity in my everyday life that I would literally go out of my way to purchase a new one like no questions asked. Like if it like, I'm, I'm crazy. I love my Apple Watch, okay? So I can't live without it. Next up, I just have this games folder. I used to just have it to, like, do when I'm bored. But then I started babysitting. And when the kids would get, like, annoying, I would just hand them over my phone and they could play some games. So I just have Helix Jump, which is really fun. Stack Ball, Flappy Jump fun run my boyfriend made me download same with duel they're all just like super mindless fun games to have on your phone pretty much it <laughs> next up i just have the find my iphone contact security cameras that i used to keep in my apartment because previous tenants said that they had someone break in so i got security cameras for my apartment passport parking i don't really know what that is and then the rest of the folders are pretty much just like apple generated apps that i don't ever use and then on the bottom like this little part right here i just have phone safari and text message and that's pretty much everything that's on my iPhone I hope you guys enjoyed this fall what's on my iPhone and um, hopefully I inspired you to kind of deck out your phone for the fall I kind of plan on doing this seasonally so I hope you guys really enjoyed this as much as I did making it for you guys I've been so excited to film it for you guys and show you guys all the cute cases that case if I sent me I hope you guys will use this amazing discount code to your advantage because it really is such a great deal and look how freaking cute these fall cases are like how could you say no like tell me tell me how tell me how you'd say no okay so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up comment down below make sure you're subscribed and comment down below which case you plan on getting because this is literally the cutest ever like how could you not how could you not love this case so anyway cheers and i'll see you guys in my next video bye